Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready, friends, to learn something new today with Gabe and Andrea. Well, we are still talking about the Olympics today, this big event that brings people from many countries together. Gabe, how do you feel about the Olympics? Well, I think that the Olympics are an exciting time for people to get together and to watch these games. Only the best athletes can go to these games. You're right. Well, we have more to learn today, so let's begin by looking at our keywords together. The first one is match. Match. Daniel is very happy. His soccer team won its match. Host. Host. Steve is hosting a birthday party for his daughter. Modern. Modern. Subways are a modern kind of transportation. And we are going to review these words right now. The first one is match. Match. Host. Host. Modern. Modern. Well done. Now, friends, let's go see Eddie. Oh, my goodness. These Olympic Games. Have you been watching them? Well, well yes, we, we've been watching, right? They're pretty exciting. Yes. Yeah. Whoa, there's so many athletes and, and uh, oh, man. Well, Eddie, we know you are excited, but can you give us today's mission? Oh, oh of course. All right, okay. Today's mission. Where will the Olympics be in 2012? Where will the Olympics be in 2012? Hmm, I wonder. Well, where will we find that answer? In today's lesson. Let's begin. Betty, my favorite customer. Hello, Hugh. How are you today? I'm okay. Just okay? I'm a little sad. My favorite table tennis player missed the serve during one of his games today. He lost his match. I'm sorry. That's too bad. Have you been following the Olympics? Yes. I've been listening to reports on my radio. Oh, good. Tell me everything that's happening. Betty says, tell me everything that's happening. She wants to know about everything that is happening in the Olympics. Is she following the Olympics? Well, Andrea, it sounds like she is not following the Olympics, but we know that Hugh is following the Olympics. Yes, when you follow something, that means you know what is going on. You pay attention to it. You are interested in learning about it. Yes, it also means to walk behind somebody. You can follow them, but here in this conversation, it means you know what is happening. You can also say that you follow the news. You pay attention to what's happening in the news. So as the Olympics are happening, you can ask someone, are you following the Olympics? Well, Hugh is following the Olympics, but he's sad because his favorite table tennis player missed a serve. He missed a serve. That's not good news. No, it's not good news because he lost his match. But the good news is we have a key word to learn. It is match. Match. A match is a time when there's a game between two people or two teams. That's right. So let's use this word match. You can say, hey, Let's have a match. I want to have a match with you, and we will see who is better. You can say, let's watch the soccer match on TV. I like to follow soccer. And Hugh's favorite table tennis player missed a ball. 
That means he didn't hit the ball and he lost the match. Yeah, that's too bad. Haven't you been following the events? I try my best, but it's hard to follow the events while I'm at work. I don't have a radio or TV here. I see. What would you like to know? Lots of things. How many medals does the U.S. have now? I'm not sure. Did anyone get a perfect 10 in gymnastics? Uh, I don't know. Wow, Betty has a lot of questions. We see here that Hugh had a question for her, too. Has she been following the events? Well, Betty says that she tries her best. That means she tries to follow the Olympics when she can. I try my best. That's what she says, and that's a good phrase to know, because we should all try our best to do what we do. I try my best. That's right. I try my best. You know, Gabe, I try my best to use a little bit of Chinese every day. That's good, because then if you keep practicing, you'll get better. Hey, friends, practice your English. Try your best, and you will get better. You can also say, I try my best to exercise every day. Even if you don't exercise every day, try your best to do it. Well, we know that a lot of these people in the Olympics also try their best. At the end of the conversation, Betty asks, did anyone get a perfect 10 in gymnastics? A perfect 10 means a perfect score. And gymnastics is another event at the Olympics. So you want to watch the people who are doing gymnastics, and if they do their best and do a good job, they might get a perfect 10. Yes, a perfect 10. Hugh, what do you know? Well, I know London will host the Summer Games in 2012. I know that too. I know the first modern Olympic Games were played in 1896. I didn't know that. I read about that in this book about the Olympics. May I see it? Sure. This book can be yours for $9.99. No thanks. I'll just borrow it from you for free. <laughs> this book can be yours for $9.99. Hugh is always selling something, isn't he? Now, will Betty buy the book from Hugh? No. Betty says, no thanks. I'll just borrow it from you for free. So, she's going to borrow the book for free. Does she have to pay money for the book? Oh, uh, well, no. She doesn't have to pay any money. Betty is lucky if Hugh lets her borrow the book for free. If something is for free, that means you don't have to pay money for it. It is for free. Well, friends, we have the answer to today's mission in this conversation, and it is free for you. You just have to find it. The question is... Where will the Olympics be in 2012? Where will the Olympics be in 2012? The Olympics will be in London in 2012. Yes, the Summer Olympics will be in London. This year they are in Beijing, but the next time we have Summer Olympics, they'll be in London. That's right. London will host these Olympics. And we will look at that keyword together. Host. Host. If a country hosts the Olympics, that means the Olympics will be there. The country will welcome all the athletes from around the world and make sure they have planned everything for this big event. So the Olympics will be hosted in London in 2012. They will host the Olympic Games. They will host the events. You can also say you will host a party. That means you throw the party. 
We will also look at the next keyword. It is modern. Modern. If something is modern, that means it is new. Many people know about it and use it. That's right. So you can use this word like this. We are in modern times, and there are many things that are happening that are modern. There are modern ways to travel. We have cars and motorcycles and buses. These are all modern ways to travel. And we see, we learn about the modern Olympics in this conversation. Inspector E. Hello, friends. It's Mrs. E here. This week we talk about the Olympics. Betty asks you an interesting question. Do you remember what she asked? Let's look again. Have you been following the Olympics? Have you been following the Olympics? Have you been following the Olympics? Our friends in small town have been watching the games. They know what is happening in the Olympic Games. They have been following the Olympics. The word "follow" in this sentence doesn't mean to walk behind something or someone. The word "follow" here means to pay attention or be aware of something. We also use the present perfect tense "have been following" to show that something is ongoing. It is happening right now, and it wasn't in the past. Let's try some examples. Do you usually follow the Chicago Bulls? That means, do you usually pay attention? Are you aware of the Chicago Bulls? Or how about this? Have you been following the newest TV show? Get it? Now I hope you got it. Go and use what you learn. Remember. Use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E signing off. Conversation replay. Betty, my favorite customer. Hello, Hugh. How are you today? I'm okay. Just okay? I'm a little sad. My favorite table tennis player missed the serve during one of his games today. He lost his match. I'm sorry. That's too bad. Have you been following the Olympics? Yes, I've been listening to reports on my radio. Oh, good. Tell me everything that's happening. Haven't you been following the events? I try my best. But it's hard to follow the events while I'm at work. I don't have a radio or TV here. I see. What would you like to know? Lots of things. How many medals does the U.S. have now? I'm not sure. Did anyone get a perfect ten in gymnastics? Uh, I don't know. Hugh, what do you know? Well, I know London will host the Summer Games in 2012. I know that too. I know the first modern Olympic Games were played in 1896. I didn't know that. I read about that in this book about the Olympics. May I see it? Sure. This book can be yours for nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. No thanks. I'll just borrow it from you for free. <laughs> Calendar phrase. And I hope to do my best in the games. I want to win a medal. <gasps> yes, Gabe will do his best at the Olympics. He will win the gold medal. Yeah, I will. I'll win the gold medal. Well, maybe you will, Gabe. That is our calendar phrase. Oh, right. The phrase today is, "He will win the gold medal." He will win 
the gold medal. If you are sure that someone will win something in the Olympics, if they will win first place, they will win the gold medal. He or she will win the gold medal. So if you're watching your favorite athlete and you want them to win, you can say he will win the gold medal. Well, let's go right now, Andrea, to watch today's calendar, calendar phrase, phrase skit. skit. He will win the gold medal. He will win the gold medal. Did you know John wants to be in the Olympics? Really? Do you think he will win the gold medal? Well, he is very good at sports. He works very hard. He will win the gold medal. I don't know, Dan. You have to be really, really good to be in the Olympics. You're right. But I know he will win the gold medal. Are you sure? Yes. He will win the gold medal. Just wait. He will win the gold medal. He will win the gold medal. Welcome back. Now, Eddie, we know you are excited about the Olympics, but would you like to be in the Olympics? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I would love to be in the Olympics. Hmm. That'd be great. Well, okay, maybe one day you can be, but now can you give us the uh, question of the day? Ah, oh, the question of the day. Well, here it is. Would you like to win a medal? What for? Would you like to win a medal? What for? I would like to win a medal for teaching English. Well, Gabe, I would like to give you a medal for that someday. Well, friends, thank you all for joining us today here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can be fun. Goodbye. Goodbye.